We are joined now by Pennsylvania Attorney General Josh Shapiro. Josh, good morning to you. Thanks for coming by. Morning. Uh, the grand jury there in Pennsylvania, it unearthed what's, what's described as secret archives from the Catholic Church. And those archives reportedly show a, a systematic cover-up of child sex abuse in Pennsylvania. What else did those secret archives show? Who had access to those archives? 23 grand jurors met for two years in Pennsylvania. They unearthed over 301 predator priests, more than a thousand victims, children uh, in Pennsylvania. They found that there was not only widespread sexual abuse, uh, rape of children, but they found that there was a systematic cover-up that went all the way to the Vatican. What was just so profoundly horrifying about this was, you know, church leaders would lie to parishioners on Sunday. They would lie to the public. They would shield these predators from law enforcement but then they would document all of it and place it in the secret archives, just feet away we're from the We're talking about like papers in a closet in a box? Like, oh, this is what really happened and we're just going to lock the door? Quite literally, they would document it, you know, years ago uh, in handwriting, then in Why? typing. Well, in part because that's what canon law calls for. And in part, it's just inexplicable. It's horrifying to think what these men of God did to these children and then to have the cover up that quite literally was very purposeful. They were doing it to shield these predator priests from law enforcement. Look, in Pennsylvania, we have a limitation on the amount of time that law enforcement can bring charges against both the predators and those who enabled the cover-up. And so they would shield them or they would pass them around for years to avoid law enforcement. Well, that, that brings me to my next question, which is, you know, you, you drop this years long investigation. It makes a huge splash. Has your office now been getting calls from other victims? And in particular, are any of those cases in your mind potentially prosecutable? In other words, within the statute of limitations, some district attorney could look at the case and prosecute a priest who committed abuse. Well, Savannah, one of the things we're most proud of is that we gave victims their voice back. We allowed them to have their truth shared. And we know that in sharing their truth, other victims are gonna come forward and share their truth. I'll tell you that in the roughly two weeks since we released the report, we've received 733 calls to our special clergy abuse hotline. We're tracking down each and every one of those tips, talking to each and every one of the people that have called. And certainly, if we can bring a case on any of this against any predator priest or anyone who covered it up, we will do so. Josh, do, do you have evidence that the Pope had um, knowledge or participated in a cover-up with regards to the Pennsylvania Diocese? We have evidence that the Vatican had knowledge of the cover-up. I can't specifically speak to Pope Francis, but I think the broader issues here with the Vatican knowing about this, with church leaders knowing about it, and the reaction you've seen, not just from Catholics, but Americans and people all across the globe, is just a fundamental disappointment and anger in institutions. We're seeing institutions, whether it's in Hollywood, whether it's at universities, whether it's in government centers, and certainly whether it's at the church, putting their own institutional reputation above the welfare of children. We will not tolerate that in Pennsylvania, and we shouldn't tolerate it anywhere. But this was, as I said, a comprehensive report. It went back 70 years. What about those who are sitting there going, okay, but this was ancient history. This isn't still going on anymore. It's better now. Is it? One of the bishops said that in Pennsylvania in response to our report. And here's what I would say back. Child rape in 1970 is the same as child rape in 2018. It is never acceptable and it is never OK to cover it up. Pennsylvania Attorney General Josh Shapiro, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.